Hey, what's up guys? I'm Afro Productions and I know what you guys are thinking. He's clearly named Afro Productions because he produces his own projects. Guys are smart. This is my very first movie review. So if you have not seen Batman v Superman yet, I repeat, if you have not seen Batman v Superman yet, there will be spoilers. I will go in depth because it's kind of hard to talk about a movie in depth about why you like it or not when you can't talk about what happens. It's kind of like trying to talk about one of your friends while the other friend is still in the room and you're like, so without further ado, let's review Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I liked it. Critics hate it. Fans like it. Critics don't matter. All these things are going on right now. Me personally, I say that I enjoyed the film. I saw the flaws that it had, but I believe that the positives of this film outweigh the negatives of this film. Hello? Batman v Superman? You were awesome. First of all, Ben Affleck's Batman. And I'm not even gonna lie. I was one of those people that supported this meme. I did not like the casting of Ben Affleck as Batman. But as time went on, and I started seeing clips come out of Ben Affleck as Batman, I was like, I'm on board. All the Batman sequences were awesome. The Batman fight, the fight where he goes to save Superman's mom, this is the best Batman fight sequence we've ever seen. Most critics or people who didn't enjoy the film say that the characterization wasn't strong in this film. And I believe that we know these DC characters well enough at this point. And Superman may not be the Boy Scout Superman that we know from the Christopher Reeve, Richard Donner, version of Superman. But I think as society has evolved, the characters also have to evolve. As long as those characters have the core elements of what they're stemmed and rooted from, I believe that a little bit of change isn't that bad. Mind you, it's not like Superman is killing people. I love when, when, when Clark is on his way to fight Batman and he mentions that line, I have to convince him to help me. I think that was probably the strongest characterization of Superman in the whole movie. Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor. I did not hate him. I, I really enjoyed his version of Lex. It was definitely different. It's not the traditional Lex Luthor. Some people did not like it. I think it worked. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's entrance, Wonder Woman's theme, all of that was dope. It wasn't much for us to see Wonder Woman as a whole. Like I think that will come in the standalone Wonder Woman movies. The Doomsday fight. I was one of those people. I did not approve of Doomsday being in this movie. I watched the cartoons with Doomsday, animated movies with Doomsday. I know that he kills Superman in the comics and, and the animated movie. All that being said, I did not want him in the movie. I felt like it was too much. Doomsday, who's supposed to be a huge villain in this universe. All that being said, why I did not approve with the look of Doomsday, that Doomsday sequence, brilliant. It could have been a disaster. A movie like this, it couldn't have ended with Batman and Superman resolving the conflict, shaking hands. They needed a, a threat, and the threat couldn't be Lex Luthor. Superman can take down Lex by itself. Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, high caliber heroes like that, they needed someone like that to fight. The fight between Batman and Superman, I thought was also done very well. It wasn't as long as I wanted it to be, but I thought the fight itself was great. The death of Superman. Uh, a lot of people also didn't agree with the death of Superman. One, it was shocking, because nowadays we see everything in the trailer. I was like, I believe that the death of Superman signified many things in this. It follows through with a dark tone. Because people don't like this tone and how it's so dreary and so dark. And everyone got off and everyone was alive. We killed Doomsday. It was a happy ending. I feel like that would be kind of anticlimactic. The whole movie was dark and, and brutal and gritty. And I think the death of Superman would carry through with the gritty tone. We know that he's in the Justice League. So Superman's death, I feel like, unified the people of Earth. Even though some people complain that, oh, now they like Superman because he's dead. That happens in real life all the time. Artists aren't really appreciated until they die. Superman sacrificing himself for humanity showed Bruce that he is just as human as any other Earthling. That he may be more human and more good than Earthlings. I think the death of Superman has reevaluated Batman's perception of being a hero now. This Batman is very brutal, he's very dark, he's almost a bad guy. I believe the death of Superman is going to bring Batman back into his sanity of being a vigilante with morals. And I think that'd be a great move for that to be something that woke Batman up and is like, hey, maybe, maybe I'm actually being a little too brutal. As far as Batman and the guns, in the anime series, Batman always had guns. He didn't have handguns, but his Batmobile had guns. His Batwing had guns. He had guns, but he wasn't shooting criminals with guns. Batman never did that. The Batman nightmare sequence, to me, that was a nightmare sequence. I don't count that as him shooting guns. When he's shooting guns with the Batwing and Batmobile, I don't mind that either because he's not caring about what happens to criminals these days. Him taking the criminals' firearms and then shooting back at them, 
I did feel a little weird at that part because it was like, all right, he's clearly shooting them. At the end of the day, it didn't bother me as much as it did other people because we know who Batman is. Alfred is a boss in this movie. I don't believe that you can say that one of the reasons that this movie is bad is because it's tone. There are many movies that have that tone and are amazing. When you start saying that I didn't like this movie because the tone was gritty and sad and dark, I don't believe that that's a, a good reason as far as a technological standpoint on making a film, why not to like the film. That's a personal preference of you wanted this movie to be something else and they gave us something that's not what we wanted or not what you, the viewer, in particular wanted. There are many movies out there that are very dark and sad and people still enjoy them because they take it for what it was. There's nothing funny about any Holocaust movie. There's nothing humorous about 12 Years a Slave. Granted, those movies, Requiem for a Dream or 12 Years a Slave or Schindler's List, those are masterpieces, you know? Like, you can't compare something like that to this. If this movie was dark and and sad, and then by the end it was all happy, I think that people would be upset about a tone mixture. Like, and not saying that just because Batman v Superman has this dark and gritty tone, that the Justice League won't have a lighter tone. Because the Justice League story should be different. The story of Batman v Superman is very dark and gritty. Moving into Justice League, things might get lighter. You get new characters that have humor, like The Flash and like Green Lantern. That moving forward, Justice League could still be fun. It'll still have dark elements and dark tones because that's the world we created. Another thing this movie that most people didn't touch on score. That the character themes were awesome. Wonder Woman's character theme is awesome. And I cannot wait to see more of Ben Affleck's Batman. Introduction to the Justice League. The little clips, I thought the Flash clip was great. The Aquaman clip was amazing. People are saying, you know, oh, the critics don't matter. Critics do matter. Th their opinion, sometimes, whether you like it or not, shapes whether you want to see the movie or not. While the critics do matter, you can't leave it up to them whether or not you enjoy a movie. If the critics didn't like it, and you still want to see it, go see it. Don't let the critics dictate what you want to do. At the end of the day, this movie did not live up to, I think, what we all as an audience and critics wanted. I think we expected something different and got something else. But I really enjoyed this film overall. So, Batman v Superman. Yay or nay? Yay. If I have to give this movie a score out of 10, I would give it a 7.5. That this film had its problems, but overall... This film is very enjoyable. This is the end of my very first movie review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't be shy to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to hear your thoughts, whether you like the movie or not. I will be doing more movie reviews in the future, but until then, peace out.